So it's May 8th, and I'm going to attempt to identify before it's too late some of what has come up with different foliage here. So this here was the small blue flowers um, that came up with these sort of small strappy leaves. Um, I think it might be the squill. Um, let's see, something is coming up here from that too that is still alive and trying to come up. But yeah, you can see here there's, there's sort of these little little things that were coming up from this foliage. These, I don't actually know what they are yet, but they do look kind of oniony, so maybe they were aliens. We'll see, I've got a bunch of them around. This here um, is I think some of that squill again. And of course some tulips that did not do too well. Um, poor things. I just, I definitely need to remember to put more water in. And this here, it's a tulip that is attempting to form um, a couple of them here. And I don't know, they might be, hopefully they would be like some kind of parrot or fringed, but we'll see. This, this hyacinth uh, literally came up under the ground. Um, let's see over here, um, you know, this was actually, oh, this poor one, it just dried out over time. Um, so I will be doing better next year with some of my, with some of my planting and care. Um, let's see here. So those have all gone over. I'm just literally looking at it to, to see what things, so I know a little bit better next year what they are. These were the Gudoshnik tulips that I put in last, or year before last, that I had hated at first. They've actually turned out quite pretty. But as you can see, these peony kind of tulips, they do have, they can have these like stamens all over the place and inside. So it just, it looks like little black things wiggling through the, through the buds. Um, all of the, the daffodils were just beautiful um, this year, really pretty, and there's an allium coming up. I don't know if that is one of the, if that was one of the two um, Schubertii ones, because these ones actually look, th this looks much more like, um, you know, like just the, the regular um, purple sensations that I had last year, but you know, we'll see. And yeah, I would say it looks like probably maybe half or so of the golden of the blushing Appledorn tulips had come up. And I, I, I think I, I only cut like one or two of them. So what we see here really is what's left of a hundred. Um, I'll try counting them later to just double check. But I mean, definitely, I would say half of them came back um, this year. And you can see the different grape hyacinths. You can see there's still more tulips coming up. There's lilies actually coming up at this point. Um, I don't know if those are some of my leftover lilies from last year or if they're something else that I had popped in there, but I'm pretty sure those are the lilies still. Um, these ones are probably golden artist that, that ended up not looking like what I thought they would. They might be something else, but I can't imagine where the golden artist went if it's not those. Um, there's a spring green that came up from the year before too. Look at this, you can actually see, this This was a hyacinth that was that tall. Um, I mean, it was it was well over a foot. Um, like the hyacinths really seem to love it here in the yard. Um, more tulips, the, the ballerinas are actually quite gorgeous. Like really, really pretty. Um, I think ballerinas, uh, and I've heard that they naturalize well. These ones are the Allison Bradleys. I had actually expected the Allison Bradleys um, to be uh, to be more red, um, like more maroon, and they aren't, but they're still quite gorgeous, but a very purple color. So I just thought I would show you those. These are some of those um, Fiore Piano uh, daffodils that, uh, that I was really eager to see um, here in the yard. Look at that, just stacked with petals. Um, yeah, more of the Allison Bradleys. Um, so yeah, let's put it this way. I, I don't, I don't dislike the peony tulips like I, like I did last year. I think it can also be just a factor of how you grow them. Got some folks playing basketball. Let's take you over to the other side of the yard. It is definitely that time of year where things are, things are growing, kids and plants. It's lovely. So, more tulips. Um, some of the tulips have, I don't know if I'd say broken, but these here. I think, I think like this one here 
was originally one of the ones in the backyard that was, you know, kind of this color. And then as it came back over a couple of years, it has, you know, turned a slightly different color, which is very interesting to me. Um, yeah, and you can see this one's the Princess Irene tulip. Um, it is a fascinating color. This is one of those Allison Bradleys. Um, yeah, I definitely need to just get more water into the garden here. This one, I don't even know what these are these days. I don't, like, I thought all of these here were, um, were Moncellas. Um, and the Moncellas look like this. But as you can see, these ones have come up and are quite different. But they could still be related to that um, somehow. But we'll, we'll have that still continue to be lots of fun. We've got some white tulips that have come back. These ones are, I think, some of the spring greens from last year, plus a, um, a mint blue moon mix from Lowe's back uh, last year. But yeah, I mean, it just looks awesome. And next year we will have many more flowers growing up here in the lawn as well, because, uh, you know, you start running out of places to put them. Uh, and I just think it's awesome. But I have to remember, water more. These guys are, they're thirsty. But yeah, wow. I mean, just seriously, how, how wonderfully all of these hyacinths are done, have done um, last year and this year. You can really see how happy they are and how big they've gotten. They're, they're even like kind of setting seed um, too. But yeah, this one was like up to here and I chopped off the most of the, the bloom stalk there. But yeah, they, I mean, they, got, they got easily over a foot tall. So yeah, just lovely, huh? So I'll be coming in with some golf tees and um, putting them where I've got room to add more tulips this coming fall and daffodils and other bulbs too. It's a lot of fun. All right, thanks for joining me. Uh, as you can see, like the, I think these exotic emperors, like I, I just did not get them enough water. Um, so they, they came up looking sort of like this in the first place. So we'll do, we'll keep, we'll keep growing. All right. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye.